All right. So uh, the other day, my uh, LG uh, watch, uh, the Urbane, came in, and uh, I think this is going to be a lot of fun for some of the projects that we're going to work on as well. Um, I don't know how many of you out there have smartwatches. This is my first smartwatch, um, and uh, I only bought it because it was uh, really cheap. I uh, I really like uh, the idea of a smartwatch, but uh, I never could afford one. A lot of times they're you know, two hundred, three hundred dollars for something kind of nice, uh, and then there's there's a couple like really cheesy ones out there. But anyway, so uh, now nowadays, you know, a lot of these older smartwatches are coming on the market, being a lot cheaper uh, in the used sector. I got this one off of Swappa, and uh, so really great place to look if you're looking for something like that. Anyway, so this is LG watch, uh, the Urbane, the uh, I think it's called what a W150. <clears throat> and uh, I have it loaded up here in ADB control, which is just really handy because it doesn't have to install any app or anything to be able to work. Um, you can see, like, if I drag down here, uh, it's uh, it's live here, and it will, once the screenshot is taken, update, and here we go, and you can see my settings and stuff here. So, uh, you know, it, I think a lot of fun projects that we're going to get to do here. Um, if you're wondering how I got everything to work thus far, uh, really all you need to do is you go to your settings, and then you go to, um, well actually we'll just, we'll just go take a look. So we drag down from the top, click on our settings, Oops, apparently I got the brightness instead of just the regular settings. So let's go back. Try this again. Slide down. Click on settings. Controls seem a little bit funky using ADB control here. Let's see if that worked there. There we go. Okay, so we got to settings. I just pushed the button on the phone. Uh, so if we go to settings, and we scroll down to the bottom. We'll see, uh, normally you would go to system, and you can see I have developer options open, but normally you would go to system, scroll down to about phone, or, well, I guess it's just about and not phone, about, and then uh, you can click on see was it build number here just like you would on a regular and if you click on it I don't know if it'll give me the pop-up now that's already enabled the pop-up has showed up on the watch I'm not sure there it goes you are already a developer so then you can just go back so you click on build number several times just like you would on a normal phone it enables developer mode you go back again and down at the bottom you'll see in a moment is developer options and so developer options we go down uh, and we can scroll down a little ways to find ADB, which we're going to turn on, which obviously is on now or you wouldn't be seeing this. So you have ADB debugging. Then you can also do this over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. That might 
might make it a little easier because for ADB debugging, it has to be in its charging cradle, which is the only thing I really don't like about the, the uh, smartwatch is how it sits in this funny cradle, and sometimes I have trouble making it sit properly to actually charge and actually do what I want it to do. And I don't know if that's because mine is used and kind of older or if that's just a generic smart watch problem. But uh, once you enable this ADB debugging, you uh, plug that into your phone, start the ADB server, and of course the pop-up will show up on the screen with a uh, X or a check mark to say, do you want to accept or trust this um, machine? Just like you would see on regular Android. So what's really great is uh, this allows us to run things like ADB control so we can see the screen instead of me trying to take a little video of it um, from, uh, you know, from the outside here. Um, you can see I've installed a few apps on here. Some work okay, some don't. It's not really a review of the smartwatch, but just uh, so you get the idea of you know that I've been using it uh, for the past couple of days and I've actually kind of liked it it's uh, been kind of fun so but uh, a couple things that we want to do uh, what I'm hoping to do some projects uh, first off we're going to put on team win recovery project um, we're going to put that on there and see how well that works uh, somebody's already built that so we're going to put on their build and then we're also going to build it ourselves because I just think that's a good thing to do and then um, then also uh, there's some other alternatives. This is you know, Android's Wear OS uh, 2.1, and there's some other alternatives out there that you could put on instead. Um, uh, Asteroid OS, we're going to try putting that on, but also try building it ourselves because I think that would be a good thing to do. And um, you know maybe some learning value we can get out of that. Uh, as far as I understand, and I could be wrong about this, correct me if you guys know better, but uh, you can't actually build Android Wear OS. Um, this particular one is based on 7.1.1, so it's, I guess, just AOSP 7.1.1, but it has this extra skin on top, kind of like having uh, TouchWiz for Samsung or something like that, and that extra skin you can't really build that to put it on there so uh, I'm not sure how well it would work to try to build Android ourselves for this that might be something I play with just a little bit and if anything does come out of it then maybe we can have some fun taking a look at that um, in theory I don't know why you couldn't just install regular Android um, on top of this smartwatch it just wouldn't work very well because regular Android's not designed for a very tiny round screen um, but we'll see we'll see what happens uh, I think uh, Asteroid OS is going to be a much better um, build experience and um, also uh, just uh, we might even take a look at building an app or two for this um, we're definitely going to uh, be building Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, we're definitely going to be rooting the phone. We're definitely going to be looking at, uh, you know, changing a few things on there. That uh, those are always good things to do with any um, any device that you ever get. You definitely want to have a crack at that. So, lots of fun things ahead. I think for the Urbane. Um, don't worry if uh, if this is interrupting your Blue Life XL upgrade series. Uh, these these urbane videos are going to be um, put in here just kind of as we go along. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this mini series in between as well. So looking forward to that, and uh, hopefully you are too.